gonna do a quick recap of an old build for my nephew. Can't believe how clean it was. I mean, there might be dust and stuff, but I mean, how clean the build is. Okay, guys, I'm going to go through some of the components that are in the Hades build that I had built last year for my nephew for his birthday. Um, I didn't know what to give him, so I figured why not give him an entry-level gaming PC. So we started out with an Optiplex 790 with the i5-2400. Ours only had 4 gigabytes of RAM. This is showing 8 gigabytes in the ad, but... Nonetheless, uh, this will give you an entry point of where we began, um, but because of the infamous F1, we decided to put in the Asus P8, A, excuse me, the P8B75M motherboard. Uh, it runs USB 3.0, and it does have PCIe 3.0. We threw in 120 gigabyte Add Data SSD for Windows 10 Pro for a better Windows experience of course. We also added the Seagate one terabyte hard drive for storage. Uh, it wasn't the same one as this one but this one's pretty cheap so I would recommend picking this up on Amazon for $35. Um, we're powering it up with a Roswell Arc 450 watt 80 plus, 80 plus bronze power supply unit and we threw it in this DIY PC case uh, the Ranger R4 black and red this goes for about forty dollars plus eight dollars shipping and handling give or take I think this ad was thirty eight plus eight dollars shipping and handling uh, I would recommend picking up the RX 580 because the graphics cards that the one that was in there and the one that's in there now is still a pretty weak graphics card a great alternative would be that RX 584 gigabyte for $109 bringing your total up to about $466 uh, we'll throw the total amount at the end there so that way you can see but here is what we threw in which is the RX 550 um, but definitely want to go with an RX 580 or a 1060 uh, GTX 1070 a GTX 1080 anything that really gets you a little farther in 1080 gaming uh, this did not run at 1080 this ran at 1024 uh, the monitor wasn't big enough so you're gonna see sub 1080 gaming but all in all it did do really well
So I gotta say, i5 2400, 4 gigs of RAM, RX 550, 2 gigabyte, definitely holding strong in 2020 gaming with Fortnite at medium settings, holding over 60 FPS.